Welcome to Integrity Institute's video, Monte Carlo Cost Risk Analysis Reporting. We're going to be taking a look at the various analysis reporting views that are available to assess project cost risk. After running a Monte Carlo simulation, two of the most popular reports are histograms and cumulative probability. In this particular example, we have a combined histogram and cumulative probability chart. On the left y-axis is the probability. We can see the most likely value occurs 9% of the time. On the right y-axis is the cumulative probability values with markers placed at the 10th percentile, mean, and 90th percentile. Cumulative probability is useful for setting cost contingency, which would be the difference between the deterministic value, seen as the straight red line, and a cumulative probability with a higher confidence level, such as P80. In addition, we can plot multiple cost scenarios representing different risk management strategies as cumulative probability plots. In this particular view, we are looking at a pre- and post-mitigated baselines. The cost chart provides a view of the forecasted cost of a project over time for deterministic and risk costs. As we can see, because the project has a high probability of running longer, it will cost more. If there are actual costs, they will be plotted on the chart and project cost control indicators are displayed on the bottom right. The cash flow chart shows probabilistic cash flow over a set period periodicity, months, bi-monthly, quarterly, or annually. In this particular view, we can see that the period of February, there's a high probability that cost will be well above the current forecast due to risk. In addition, we can see that because of delays, the project should expect to experience two additional months of costs. Because February shows a large jump in expected cash flow, we can take a look at a detailed view of the probabilistic cash flow for that particular period. The large spike on the right is due to a probability of a critical risk occurring. Sensitivity analysis, or tornado charts, provide insight into which tasks or risks have the most potential to drive costs in the project. On the left, we have a list of tasks ranked by how much their risks and uncertainties impact the cost of a project. On the right, we have a similar ranking of risks. It, it is extremely likely that the highest ranked risks are assigned to the highest ranked activities. To minimize potential cost overruns, we need to focus our risk management efforts on these tasks and risks. In the previous views, we have been looking at project level analysis. However, it is possible to drill down to the activity level to view the cost analysis. On the left, the chart shows us probabilistic total task cost. Of note, the histogram is bimodal, which shows two distinct distributions. The one on the left is due to uncertainty or natural variance, and the second to the right is due to a serious risk event occurring. The chart on the right the task variable cost shows similar results, but for resource costs only. In this chart, the second distribution is even more distinct, so we know that the risk is tightly correlated with the resources allocated to this activity. If we'd like to further investigate the source, we can look at the specific variable work and therefore cost for each resource allocated to a specific task. This particular view, which is very tightly correlated with the previous results, would indicate that in order to control costs, we would need to focus on this particular resource as being the root cause of the predicted overruns in this activity. Thank you for watching our video on Monte Carlo Cost Risk Analysis Reporting. Please visit our site at intaver.com to learn more about risk analysis and our upcoming videos and webinars. If you are interested in finding more about decision analysis and risk management, a list of our publications and a variety of resources can be found at our website, projectdecisions.org. Thank you very much.